The winner of last night's Dutch election, Geert Wilders, has been compared to the former US president, Donald Trump. They share similar haircuts and similar populist policies. Wilders' fiery anti-Islam rhetoric has drawn death threats from around the world, led to him being briefly banned from the United Kingdom, and meant that he's lived for nearly 20 years with round-the-clock police protection. Even when he voted yesterday in the town hall in The Hague, he was flanked by burly bodyguards. Wilders was first elected to Parliament in 1998 as a member of the mainstream centre-right VVD party. He split later and formed his own Party for Freedom with a far more right-wing agenda and since then he's been more or less on the sidelines of Dutch politics. The only time he came close to power was in 2010 when he agreed to support Mark Rutte's first minority coalition but he pulled the plug on that administration after 18 months in a dispute over austerity measures and may, most politicians have distrusted him ever since. That's going to have to change now. With 37 seats, Wilders is suddenly calling the shots in Dutch politics. He's in pole position to start forming the next coalition. The question is, will other parties want to join him in government? Coalition talks in the Netherlands can take weeks or months. The last coalition talks took nine months. Parties have to dance around one another, work out which policies they can agree on, which they can't, and then usually they will write a document setting out policies for the next four-year term. The question is, who's going to want to do that with Geert Wilders? And is Wilders prepared to tone down his anti-Islam rhetoric in order to gain support of other politicians?